Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got something special that I really wanted to show you all. If you've been generating AI videos or experimenting inside ComfyUI lately, you already know how intense and demanding these tools can be, especially now, because the models keep getting bigger, faster, and more advanced every single week. VRAM limitations. Modern GPUs cost a fortune and building a new machine with enough VRAM to run large models reliably can easily run into thousands, even multiple thousands of dollars. So instead of buying expensive hardware and constantly worrying about VRAM limits and installation errors, there's a better approach. Use cloud GPU. I'm gonna show you a cloud-based GPU solution for Comfy UI that's extremely simple, easy to use, and very straightforward. This is Cephalon.ai. This is the landing page. Signing in is super simple. You can log in with Google in one click, or you can create an account manually using email if you prefer that. The signup process is clean and minimal, which is nice because a lot of other platforms overload users with settings and configuration just to get started. Inside the dashboard, you can see multiple apps and utilities available to run. There's Tabby for LLM, WebSSH, crypto mining workloads, and of course, what we came for, Comfy UI and Comfy UI Video. The UI makes switching between apps straightforward, no confusing setup screens, no separate billing panels. When you launch, you can choose from multiple GPU configurations. For example, RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes VRAM, 5090 options, and more in the future as new GPUs become available. There is also support for auto renew if you want continuous runtime. And they have their own credit balance system called SEP, which you purchase using USD. That makes billing very clear and predictable. No complex usage breakdowns. Once you select Comfy UI and launch the app, it initializes in just a few seconds. It's surprisingly fast, especially if you've used slower cloud platforms before. Once the session boots, you can enter the application environment. Inside Comfy UI, the layout looks very similar to the portable version. But one major improvement is that file management is built directly into the interface. You don't have to use Jupyter or Terminal to manage folders. You can interact with files visually, upload your checkpoints, LoRa's, control nets, node modules, and manage workflow files easily. This setup makes the environment feel extremely familiar if you're used to running Comfy UI locally. The entire structure mirrors Portable Comfy UI, the Models folder, Patches folder, Workflows folder, all organized neatly. It really feels like your own installation, just running on a large GPU instead of your device. You also have the ability to install missing custom nodes automatically. For example, when you load a workflow and Comfy UI detects missing nodes, just click to install, wait a few seconds, and you're done. There's no complicated dependency management, no manual cloning of GitHub repos, no pip errors. Now, to demonstrate the workflow, I'll open up a workflow file that uses ZUnion 2.1. When we first load it, Comfy UI detects that the model weight isn't present yet. So we'll upload it manually. Just go to File Manager Models Patches folder, click Upload, locate the safe tensors file downloaded from Hugging Face and upload. The progress bar appears, and once completed, the file is instantly available inside the app. Now, if we reopen the workflow, ZUnion 2.1 loads correctly. On the top, you can see the tensor referenced in the node tree. So we'll test it on an example image. Let's start with this girl holding an iced coffee. We'll run the workflow through a canny processor. The generation runs smoothly and the result looks clean and consistent. Next, we'll try a second test using depth anything instead of canny. We'll select another image, a girl standing on a rooftop at night. Here's the text prompt. A rooftop environment at night with soft neon reflections visible on glass surfaces, blurred city skyline in the background, casual clothing, 
loose white t-shirt, and dark blue denim. The generation completes and the depth guidance works properly. The result looks impressive and can be further improved using LoRa's or character embeddings. You can load those the exact same way, just upload and refresh. For upscaling, we switch to Seed VR. The upscale finishes quickly and maintains detail very well, especially around edges and fabric textures. So overall, Control Union Pro 2.1 runs extremely efficiently. Now let's go back and take a final look at the Cephalon.ai platform. That brief demonstration shows how powerful and flexible a cloud GPU Comfy UI setup can be. If you're struggling to run WAN 2.2 or any large generative models locally because of VRAM shortages, slow render speeds, or installation headaches seriously, consider moving your workflow to the cloud. You don't need expensive hardware, you don't need to update drivers, and you don't need to troubleshoot every update. Just launch, upload, generate, and download. I've linked Cephalon.ai in the description below. You can test it yourself, experiment with new models, and generate outputs without worrying about VRAM errors or hardware crashes. All right, that's it for today's video. If you're using Cephalon AI or planning to try it, this is the best time. They're running their second anniversary campaign from 21st December to 31st December. During this period, you get three times reward points on all top-ups, and you're also eligible to join their anniversary giveaway. It's a solid deal if you want more value while testing the platform. I've dropped my referral link in the description so you can get started easily. When you top up at least $20, you'll receive the equivalent of $60 in CEP thanks to three times reward points. If you found this useful, please hit like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If there's any model you want me to test or any tutorial you want me to make next, drop your request in the comments and I'll make it happen. Thank you for watching. Peace.